Well, why I always say to, to students is that when I'm sketching a picture, when I'm applying the colour, I could do it any, any one way of a hundred different ways. You know, there's no right or wrong way to doing it because you're not necessarily recording the actual observable real colours you can see in front of you. You're doing something slightly different. And it's to do with, it's to do with emotions, it's to do with um, how colours interact, it's maybe to do with complementary colours, it's matching tonal value, but it's also letting the colours speak, you know, speak for themselves. So there's so many different ways you, you, can, you can do it. And the emotional response to the subject in terms of the colour is often based upon, for example, a local colour. So it might be, say, the colour of a brick wall or the colour of a door. And once that colour goes on, that's then communicating back to you. It's telling you something, you know, it's existing on the page. So for example, you might use a burnt sienna to describe the facade of a building. And once that burnt sienna goes on, it's then telling you, because it's sitting amongst all the line work that's already gone on, it's telling you what else it needs. So it might need a, a complementary colour, it might need an ultramarine blue, or it might need a different type of brown or a yellow or a green or something. But you don't know that mm. until you've got started. And that's the beauty of creativity. You don't plan everything in advance. You know, you're very intuitive, you're very instinctive, and you're kind of very mindful of how things are interacting on the page in front of you, which is what makes it so wonderful. If I'm using colour in an emotional way, so let's say, let's say for example, I use an ultramarine blue for a building. Now I know, in reality, that building is not ultramarine blue, but I'm using it because I then know I'm going to match, say, the tonal value of the building with the blue. But I also know there's other colours I can add on top. Mm. And those colours, when they play together, will just create a really wonderful effect on the page. But that's got nothing to do with what you see, but it's to do with what you feel. And I think that's really important that, you know, you harness your feelings because it's a very personal thing that we're doing all the time. You know, we're not architects, we're not illustrators, we're not designers, we're actually artists working outside. And this world around us that we're using is just a starting point. And once we get beyond that starting point, it's all about us and our feelings, our emotions, and we've just got to harness them because it's so good for the soul. It's so good for you when you do that.